Hey, I'm here with James with BK Giolini. James, tell us a little bit about your products. We are a leading manufacturer of food grade phosphates, probably one of the most ubiquitous ingredients used in the food industry today. So what would I be eating that your stuff would be in? Uh, you had uh, basically some, uh, some dip there that is uh, featuring uh, some of the dairy protein stabilizers that we manufacture. And we have uh, this side for the dairy, and then on the other side over here we have for, for sausage applications as well. Well, that was some pretty good dip. Are you, uh, are you on any kind of ice cream that I maybe, may have eaten? No, don't, do no ice cream. How about bread? No bread. How about uh, Snicker bars? No Snicker bars. Are you in the wrong room? Okay. Well, okay. It was good. We have the broadest portfolio of natural ingredients. Blend it into one homogenous mix. All natural. Our foundation really is in natural source vitamin E. Completely non-dairy. As well as plant sterols. It is one third less fat. We're very strong in lipid technology. Now we are adding some lecithin. It's conjugated linoleic acid. Ribose tea. Lutein esters. Food grade phosphates. Any of these ingredients can be incorporated very easily into food and beverages. Right, one of the most ubiquitous ingredients used in the food industry today. It pasteurizes your nuts. Hey, I'm here with Chris Warsaw with Bell. He just gave me some pizza and it was terrific. Tell us about your products. Uh, today we're serving a Yucatan style pizza with cochinita pibil, which is a pulled pork from the Yucatan Peninsula. A little bit of a pineapple on there, a chimichurri tomatillo aioli, and then a little bit of a chipotle sauce underneath that to bring it all together. That was some good pizza. How's the show been going for you today? Oh, excellent. Well, you serve hot food, people. That's good. People come, come for your good food. I'm here with Yohum with Barth. Tell us about this contraption and what it does for products. It pasteurizes your nuts. Ooh, uh-oh. Who invented it? Uh, Dr. Perrin did. He's here as well. And uh, Bueller, the engineers from Bueller Barth. Now, is this a, a, a new engineering uh, yes, product? New, new development, absolutely. And what kind of companies would use it? Uh, people that process a lot of peanuts and, 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 and tree nuts. Oh, okay, well there you have. It's the nut machine you don't want to be in. That was pretty sour. But I'm here with JF with Toka. Tell me what I just drank. Some cranberry concentrate, and uh, there's a good reason why your face turned that way after you drank that. What kind of foods would that be in? That would be in a cranberry cocktail, the drink you find in a supermarket, but the dilution would be 30 to 1. I would hope so. Yes. That was pretty potent, boys and girls. Um, so what else does your company do? Uh, we do everything that's a cranberry. So we do dry cranberries, cranberry concentrate, cranberry juice, uh, frozen cranberries, fresh cranberries, anything that's a cranberry. Oh, that's great. I'd like to try some that wasn't concentrated. Okay, you can. <laughs> Maybe I have to go to the store for that. Absolutely. Hey, I'm here with Debbie with Kikoman. Debbie, tell us a little about Kikoman. Kikoman is one of the oldest food brands in the world. Uh, we've been producing in the U.S. for over 50 years, so everything we offer in this market is U.S. made, which is very important to a lot of the government and the schools and a lot of the chain accounts. Uh, we have a variety of uh, soy and different Asian sauces, powders, granulated, all kinds of versions, anything from bottles to full rail cards, liquid rail cards for our industrial customers. Well, can I try a bite? Because it looks pretty good. I'm here with Tina with Loaders. So Tina, tell us about your company. My company does palm oil. It's trans fat free oil. It's all natural and it's non-GMO. What kind of uh, food would your products be in that I would eat? Donuts. Mmm, donuts. That's the word of the day. It's the best word in the dictionary. Hey, I'm here with Ron with GEA. So Ron, what is this? 
This is a filtration pilot plant used for testing applications for whatever product you make. But you can take this, rent it, bring it into your site, and then uh, set it up and test any application that you might have. That's fantastic. I've got one question for you. Shoot. Can I put that underneath the hood of my car? No, but it'll work well in your pilot area of your facility. Man, that looks fast. <laughs> it is very fast, and uh, depending on what we're trying to do is get as much speed as uh, you can out of your product. That's terrific. Hey, how's the show going for you today? It's going really good. We're getting a lot of activity, a lot of interest, and uh, I don't think the economy is as bad as it seems for, from what we're seeing. Great. Hey, Ron, thanks a lot for the interview. Have a great show. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, Stefan, what are you cooking there? I'm doing a gourmet grilled cheese sandwich. It's a regular grilled cheese sandwich, except it has fish oil in it. So, what kind of fish oil? Well, this is omega-3 fish oil, and this is extracted from anchovies, sardines, tilapia. So it's the healthy oil, encapsulated in a powder, and then we'll put it in a cheese sauce. What, what other kinds of foods are your company's ingredients in? We've got it in our orange juice over here. Uh, she's making vegetarian wraps. We've got it in chocolate mousse, brownies, cookies, anything you can think of. Oh, that's fantastic. I, wa I want to try some cookies right now. I think that's the way to do it. Let's have some cookies. I'm going to get some technology omega-3s, baby. That's the way to get your fish, huh? Ah, that's the way to get my fish. <laughs> Thanks, Stefan. Right I hope it. you have a good show. We've had a great show so far. Thanks. I'm here with Mark from Arbfield. Hey, Mark, what's that bottle doing in the center of that cylinder? It's getting carbonated, carbonated uh, liquid. Is that for soda? Yeah, soda, beverage, beer. And, and how does this machine work? Well, you just put a liquid in the tank, and you uh, put CO2 into it, carbonate it, and then you fill the bottle. How long did it take you guys to make this thing? Actually, it took about two years in R&D to make it, and now we sell it all over the world. Is this its debut, or has it been, it's been around for a while then? Actually, we launched it at last year's IFT, so it's been around a year. Oh, great. Do you have any other machines you can show us? Sure, I do, yeah. Okay. Come this way. Over here, we've got a uh, direct steam injection system for UHT. That's uh, ultra-high temperature treatment of milk. Oh, wow. Okay, so most of the long-life milk you drink in the store is made on a machine like this. Of course, much larger. Right. Next thing we've got here is a rapid extractor. Everything you, uh, you drink nowadays has an extract in it, okay? And usually extracts uh, such as teas and things like this, they're made in machines like this. Hey, so Mark, when was the company founded? 1875. We've been around a long time, Billy. That's a long time. Sure. Now, let me tell you about this machine here. This is a spray dryer. Um, it's used to make small samples in the lab for people who just want to make powder. Um, and you know, as you know, uh, most, a lot of beverages, a lot of pharmaceuticals, they use powders in their formulations. That's what this unit does. Okay, it's a powder maker. It is. So, Mark, what does this one do? This one makes margarine or ice cream, depending on your taste. I like ice cream. Yeah, me too. So what kind of ice cream? Oh, you know, 57 varieties. So Mark, I know the other one made ice cream, but does this one make beverages? That's absolutely right, Billy. This one's used for uh, pasteurization or UHT sterilization as well. Most of the products you drink in the stores, most beverages, they've all been pasteurized. Pepsi, Coke, oh, Dr. Pepper. The whole lot, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Tab? How about Tab? I don't know about Tab. I'm too old. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Well, that's it for the food show in the OC. Boy, I gotta do something about my girlish figure. This show really took its toll on me.